This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, how are you? It is Jean Watts. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a Q&A, get ready with me. And I just did like a little natural makeup look for today and um, I show you a little bit of what skincare I'm using. I tried to make, I tried, I wrote down a lot of questions and then I realized I'm like, this is gonna be another 45 minute video. So I try to narrow it down to a few questions that I thought were like super interesting and like some like little fun ones. Check out High Frequency if you haven't. It's my new single that's out. It's available on all streaming platforms. I love it. I love that song, it's so fun. Um, it's, and it's definitely my coming into my power song. Oh, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Even this nail polish. You know, I always do it on my, my own nails. And it's like a long, dressy, it could be like a dress, you can like unbutton it all the way. It's like, I've worn this before in my other videos. I love this. I love bumming around my house in it. Um, especially like if I was take it with me on vacation. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm not, mm. Okay. Uh, let's get to it. are going to start with Kosas Concealer. And this is in the shade 190. Warm 190. I'm gonna take my MAC brush and I'm just gonna blend this around. I got out of the shower and I used, oh, I love this stuff. I will always, always, always own this stuff. I used um, Paula's Choice Exfoliant. BHA liquid exfoliant. And then after that, I used my Glow Recipe Hyaluronic C uh, Plump Cream. And, and then over for skin prep is my MAC um, Ceramizer. I'm obsessed with this stuff and it smells so good. Okay, so this is a little white, I mean not white, well a little white and a little yellow. But I can darken it, that's okay. Now I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna just dab this around. Okay, so first question, how to deal with people who try to bring you down? If someone's trying to bring you down, it's, they're just, they're trying to make you feel the way they feel. Happy people, you'll never see a successful, really happy person ever talking mad shit, like just saying mean things, trying to bring others down. It's people who are already down there. They're just trying to like bring you with them. And so instead of like matching that energy and like going after that person or attacking that person, you, that is you lowering yourself to that level and that vibration. So just understand what it is and it's just that they're very unhappy and um, they just don't understand you and that's okay. If they don't understand you, then they're not like, they're not meant to be very close to you in your life. So you very gracefully see the situation, learn how to keep your distance, but again, do it with grace, do it with class, do not lower your energy down to that level. I have learned that the hard way in life. Um, by the way, I'm using Dibs. I just used Kosas Concealer in O3W and Dibs Contour Stick. I'm about to use a blush and it's in Spill the Deets or Spill the Tea and Full Deets. Okay, next question is go to cocktail. I was just in Miami and just gained eight pounds drinking these because I just love them so much, but it is, it is a spicy mezcal margarita. I love mezcal, I love margaritas, and I love spicy. So all of those in a drink, oh, and they were mango. It was just like so hard to resist. So I just went on that and now I'm trying to balance out, I'm trying to go back to the gym, trying to eat healthy. I'm not eating out, I'm not drinking. I'm trying to drink more water. 
to balance it up. Okay, now I'm about to go in with Kosas Brow Pencil in taupe. Okay, next question. Do you play any video games? I grew up playing a lot of video games with my brother. I love it. Um, my favorite games are, I'm a PS5 now, but I'm a PlayStation girl. And my favorite games are Uncharted, the new Tomb Raider, the latest one was like my favorite game ever because it's, it's a combination of The Last of Us and Uncharted to me. And it was like a woman, you know, female main character, badass bitch, and I love that. Um, so those three games are my favorite. I have Switch and I love playing Mario Kart. All right, this next question is, everything seems to be falling into place for me, but I keep worrying. Any advice? I deal with this too sometimes, like when you've had a lot of things that like, don't work out, and then when things start working out, you almost are like, oh, is this like gonna last? Learn to ride the wave. Be so good with yourself that even if something were to happen, you can handle it. It's not the end of the world. And you're always gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. And you work for it. If things are working out, then you've worked and gotten to a place that you deserve this. And life is all about lessons, but it doesn't have to be tower moments all the time of just like bad things happening left and right. Don't get in your own head. Don't create negative situations. My favorite thing to do, and I kind of talked about this before, by the way, I'm using Winky Lux Coffee Kitten Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm using this cappuccino color right here. I talked about this before and I love it. Like. When I'm super nervous about something not working out, if I'm like taking a huge risk, like my manager, who's also like my best friend, we, <laughs> once we get like super freaked out about something, we're like, you know, what's the best that could happen? What's the best, what's the best thing that can come from this? And then we start having a really clear picture of what the best possible outcome could be. And that's how it's a really great way to attract that energy when you place it instead of like a lot of people will just focus on the bad. Going in with Palladio um, uh, taupe powder. Next question is advice for your younger self. You know, sometimes this question always, and it changes every time. So I love answering them every single time people ask me that because it kind of does change. I, I had to go through the things I've had to go through in life to be who I am today and I've come such a long way and I've grown so much. So um, I wouldn't know these things unless I went through them, but don't be afraid to set strong boundaries. And um, like, I used to stay in so many relationships. I mean, I, I mean, I've had two big ones in my life, which is my entire adult life. Um, even three, even from like basically when I was a teenager. Um, I would just stay way too long in relationships that I should not have stayed in. And um, my, it was codependency that it made me stay and it made me create illusions that I was better off like staying with these people than just going off by myself in the scary unknown of life. You know, having that self-respect, choosing myself, um, and I used to think it was a lot scarier than it actually is. And it's actually amazing. And I don't need anybody in my life. And um, my self-worth doesn't matter about anybody else. I think I'm just gonna leave my makeup like this. I just am not in the mood to wear a lot of makeup today. I'm gonna add a little bit more lip liner. This is, this is um, Dibs Beauty Lip Liner. And no pressure. So if there's anybody that's weighing you down and not seeing you for you and not appreciating you and gossiping about you and projecting onto you, if I already said that, <laughs> leave. You are who you wrap yourself around. Um, even if it's scary, even if it gets lonely, like get out of there. Because there's all these people in the world that if you do choose, like I've been seeing more people post this on TikTok and I love it, that they're seeing the magic that starts happening in life when you start to choose yourself. Like the, the opportunities that the universe starts giving you and like life starts, starts bringing you and the people um, that you just start experiencing because you chose yourself. You're choosing to have better energy in your life. You're making room for better energy in your life. Um, and that could be family members, it could be the closest people to you because so it could be really, really hard. So I can keep going on about that, but 
that would be uh, one of my advices to my younger self is girl you're a bad bitch. you don't need anybody you know exactly what you're doing don't be afraid you can't save everybody you can't love the demons out of somebody and protect your peace but when you love somebody or love people or you care about other people you're really understanding the way i am oh, i will deal with so much I'm very confident and I, I do know who I am. So when people, I would make myself smaller for other people to feel comfortable. People would take that for weakness and then people would think that they did have like a power over me, but I'm never gonna do that again. Like never again. Like if I trigger you or you, whatever, you don't like me for whatever reason, I am in no way, shape or form ever going to make myself small for anybody. Okay, the last one. This is a good one. What are some red flags to look out before dating in a relationship? You're talking to the, you know, my problem is that I've been so many people in my life. Like I have changed a lot through my life and I always want to change. Like I am, as you can tell from all my videos and my spiritual videos that I love spiritual growth and exploration and I just, to the day I die, like I never want to be the person ever in my fucking life that is like, well, this is just the way I am. Never do I want to be that way, ever, ever, ever. Like I know what it's like, I will experience something and then I'll learn something about myself and like, is this still working for me in this new phase of my life? Is it, or is it, am I standing in my own way or am I hurting people by accident? Am I being selfish by accident? Like I enjoy being the best I can be if I'm alive on this planet. And I, I've learned that not everybody's like that. A lot of people don't want to do that work. They are totally stuck in their ways. They're okay to be with their ways. Like it's too much to look at themselves that they would rather just continue to live ignorant. And that's totally fine. That's their journey. We're not all here to do the same exact thing. But because I'm super understanding and because I can change, I believe other people can change because I see the best in them. I truly, truly see it. I always want to help people, but sometimes like if they're not willing to do the work, the more I try to love and see the goodness in them, it actually triggers their demons even more. And now they're going to try to hurt me and they don't realize it and, and it just gets bad. Okay, so red flags look out for inconsistency. I see it a lot online where girls are talking about like if a guy's not answering you and they are answering you, like if a guy wants to talk to you and have you in your life, they are going to make the effort. They're never gonna be busy. No one is too busy to like, to give you the time. So if they're not giving you the time of day, don't feed your delusions that they're busy or maybe they'll come around to it. No, if they are not being consistent with you, you are not gonna be consistent with them. You are not gonna put all your eggs in, the, in your, their basket and you're gonna talk to other people too and they're gonna, they're, cause they're most likely talking to other people. I, God, now that I'm single and like dating around, I'm actually like, I'm not effortless, I'm not, I don't wanna date around right now, but I mean, you know what I mean? I'm also human and whatever. I've been noticing like, and just talking to others in the world that we live in is like everybody always wants to keep their options open. So pick up on that from the beginning. When you have your first fight, have a fight. How do they handle the fight? Do they blow up? Do they put you down? Do they gaslight you? If you like set a boundary like, uh, oh, I don't want you talking to this one person or can you like not do, can you not do this? Cause it makes me feel uncomfortable. Like that, that should be like normal relationship boundaries. And if they gaslight you or if that's a problem or you're crazy or anything like that, run the fuck away. It will never change. That person is extremely emotionally immature and has a lot of, uh, it's, it's not gonna get better. Um, which then brings to the next thing is who are their friends? Are all of, who are their friends? You are who your friends are. So if their influences and the people they look up to are people who, um, don't share the same values as you, they will be influenced by them. Especially like, yeah, unfortunately it's the truth. You are who your friends are. 
There's always exceptions, but I mean, think of it this way, like if all of their friends are a certain way, if all of their friends are players, or if all of their friends are, are uh, promote uh, low vibrational lifestyles and decision making. Let's say you're in a relationship and things aren't going that great between you and that person, like every relationship, like there's always the highs and lows and some things you'll go through things. Like that's the hard parts about relationship is working through those things, but that's what real love is to get through those, right? It can't be all rainbows. That's delusion. But if all their friends are players, then when they they will then start convincing themselves that they need to be doing these stupid ass things and like whatever it is, because their friends are making them feel that way and that's the environment they're in. Like just who are their friends? This is another one that I kind of dabble at because yeah, I'm gonna just say this, but I think at the same time I've done this before too. Um how they talk about their exes or other girls. If, if every ex of theirs, if they like had a bad ending with every single one of their exes, that means they are um, going to drive you insane. When a guy calls a girl crazy or tries to point all the fingers, like why the relationship didn't work out and he's pointing only the fingers at her and never really taking accountability, accountability on anything, like, Everybody, there's always two, like there's always accountability for both. If there's a relationship, there's two to tango, always. I don't care what happens in a relationship, like there's something that there's both, right? And if they can't take accountability on anything and they're making excuses or whatever it is, they're a nightmare. And, and even worse than that, it's it's too much for them to, to own up to it. That, that means they're in like little boy land. And that's scary. Who the hell wants to date a little boy? We want to date men. Men take accountability. Men know how to care for a woman and protect a woman. A man knows how to control their emotions. And like, if a girl, if, if just because if there's a fight of any kind, there should never be a break of respect. Ever, ever. And if a guy is ever putting you down at any moment or making you feel insecure over other girls, like a real man never makes you feel insecure with other girls, ever. Those are all the red flags. If anybody crosses any of those things, walk away. Don't be delusional and don't waste your time. They will not change. There's a possibility, but it's not your job to help them change. Cause that's something I've learned in life through everything, like through relationships, through friends, through family. If someone doesn't want to change themselves, you can't make them change no matter what you want to do. So, and if anything, you walk in, you, you setting your boundaries helps, it, it, it creates the respect of like, oh, this person really walked away when I did this thing. Like, I can't, if I want to be with that person, I can't be acting like that. But if you stick around and you deal with it and like, you know, you can try to work it out, but realistically, if it's once or twice or whatever, like, it ain't gonna change. So, I would say those are my relationship red flags. And this is kind of my other theory. I'm just gonna add this in because it's the last one I'm done. Um, I had this like theory and tell me if I'm wrong. I love, I love like saying things and like and hearing other people's opinions and like I put in perspective and I like to feel like what's right to me and I take what what feels right to me. But this is one of my theories, why I think like dating when you're younger, like we'll see the whole picture. We'll see like marriage, we'll see the kids, we'll see the entire thing. And then we'll romanticize over it. And then we get stuck to this idea of the outcome. And then you start, that's when you start dealing with shit in relationships because you just see this ending, right? And it's all delusions. <laughs> My situation, and particularly, this doesn't go with it because um, we talked about what we want in life and it, it did match the same. So it's just, I don't know what the happened. But like, I'm, I'm talking more of like people who are younger. One of my theories is like, maybe girls should always date guys that are older or like really emotionally mature because when girls are dating guys who aren't like ready to get married or have kids, then they're not really gonna make all the decisions to protect you or they're just focused on them, themselves right now and building themselves. All right. That's my little Q&A, get ready with me. 
This brings us to our sponsor and our sponsor is Squarespace. Squarespace is a beautiful and powerful online platform on which you can create your own website or domain. And they have a great online tech support that they can always help you out with. It is awesome and it's so so easy if you are starting a business of any kind which if you need a platform or a website so so easy oh they already have like templates for your websites you can choose like the design of your website and all you gotta do is like drag your pictures putting your business name your bio whatever it is on there and they can do things like e-commerce they can do um, appointments if you want to if your business is about booking appointments literally anything that you need from a website if you want to have videos on your website, you can have everything there. So go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And once you're ready, go to squarespace.com slash genewatts for 10% off your first domain or website. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start trying to post more of my videos on my other platforms. Um, I don't really like let you guys know on any other platform. So if you guys subscribe, you guys will get alerted every time I do these videos. I'm about to, I wanna to try to start doing a video every week. I can do it. So um, give me some ideas you guys want next. Check out High Frequency if you haven't. It's on Spotify and all the music platforms. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves, do your inner work, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.